before this video starts i want you guys to read some of these some some of these messages i just hit my foot Um, I don't even know how to fucking start this shit because this is just so dumb to me. And is that my water? Okay, you can wash it. I'm just fucking with you. But I don't know. I just think that this specific female needs to shut up talking about me. Isn't that the purpose of YouTube and the purpose of a reaction video and the purpose of you doing certain things so people can react to it? But why you big mad mad about somebody talking about you? You don't have to respond to them. You could just simply ignore them. You responding, you just adding fire. Just why are you paying attention to them? It doesn't matter what they say. Oh, she got this, she got that. Oh, who cares? Who cares? At the end of the day, as long as nobody touch you, like, you have to grow up, Chrissy. You need to grow up and stop thinking that every time somebody, every time somebody say one thing to you, hey, you gotta jump in like, oh, oh, all right. You don't always have to be defensive. Like, simply just ignore them. Ignore, you don't know how to ignore people? Ignore them. Or what's people just gonna keep talking? Never thought about that? Shut up talking about me. I don't even know how to explain it. Like, don't, I don't even know how to even fucking talk about this shit because I think it's so stupid that my video got taken down for no reason. It's not like it was like some nudity or some fucking people killing people. Like, it wasn't nothing crazy. So whoever reported that shit is a bitch and I don't care. See, your mouth always gets you in trouble. Your mouth, Chrissy, always gets you in trouble. Why you gotta start with the B word? First of all, you have a lot of young viewers, a lot of teenagers, a lot of junior high school kids. What are you representing with you talking like that? You don't have, you don't have to. Again, you don't have to respond to negativity. You don't have to respond to somebody who says, oh, you're ugly, oh, you're gay, oh, you stink, you're this, you're that. Who cares? At the end of the day, words are just words. Once somebody touch you or somebody touch a family member, then I would understand that you go out there and calling her the B word and say this and say that. It's like you're in a battle and you're just allowing the other person to win. That's so called weak minded. Come on now. And I don't care because that's stupid. All these other people could post videos on my fucking child, but I can't. The reason why everyone was the reason why everyone is able to post him with no issues and not get their videos taken down is because Damo never told us we couldn't, and we're not saying nothing about that, you know, I understand you're not saying nothing bad about him, and we're not saying nothing bad about him, but she did tell you specifically, you and only you do not post my son on the same channel, on the same page, the same anything as your girl. Don't do it. So that's the difference between you and everybody else, is the fact that Damo specifically told you not to, and you did it anyways numerous times. She never told us we couldn't. And besides then, even if she did, we would have respected her. But we're not posting anything bad about him, you know? So, you get it now? Why? Do you get it? So my shit gets taken down. And Instagram needs to fix that. So, if Instagram's watching this, can y'all put my video back up? Because it got taken down for no reason. No reason at all. Literally none. I don't have no, um... I don't I don't have no court order. I don't have nothing that says I cannot post him legally. You don't need to have none of that. You don't need to but guess what? The mother where the child the mother that birthed the child told you not to post it. That's all the paperwork, that's all that's all the wording that you need. You don't need nobody else, you don't need law involved in this. If the mother tells you herself, you 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 do not post my child, you. You got you can't post her child. If you do post a child, then she could take a whole bunch of legal actions. There's a whole bunch of law about that, you know? So in a way you kinda did bring all this drama onto yourself. Right? Legally, nothing. Nothing against me that says I cannot do it. So for my video to get reported 
after other people that claim to not be around him can post shit no what the fuck everybody that reported that shit got me fucked up period and if anybody told anybody to re report that shit you got me fucked up too why are you so mad Missy? why you don't <laughs> listen to his mama <laughs> you got a lot to learn girl you have a lot to learn a lot to learn but i guess that's that's part of growing up right i mean fucked up too the fuck what was she just saying <laughs> she made a whole whole video talking about reporting oh yeah and this bitch made a whole video talking and you know it's funny because like if there wasn't drama going on with me right now the bitch wouldn't have shit to talk about so here's the thing if you know that drama follows you a lot or if you know that there's a lot of drama going on in your life and you don't want nobody to talk about it think before you post think before you act I should talk about her channel would be dead as fuck so first of all stop fucking talking about me you keep talking about me i'm gonna get your ass for fucking harassment because i'm just tired at this point i've told this bitch multiple times stop fucking talking about me first off you would have to know a lot of information about the specific person that you're talking about and we all know who you're talking about because i did see the tweet and i did read what what is what is what's what was said but i still feel that you're blowing things way out of proportion for what you're getting angry you're just getting yourself extra for no reason again do not feed into the bs if you're gonna get that mad if you're gonna cuss people out using all these all these bad words like for what just ignore people like literally look 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 for example if somebody's like you a b-word okay you gotta okay if they be like you're stink okay who cares you don't listen you listen you're reading things you're getting angry for what for what then you're the same one that's going to complain oh depression this anxiety you can't be playing those kind of cards learn how to ignore people that same bad stuff about you that you feel that is bad you learn how to ignore them it's easy easy Delete, 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 pay no attention, get off social media for a day or two. What's the problem? You guys are literally starting things up on your own. You're bringing the heat to yourself, and then you wonder why. Why everybody's attacking me, why everybody's bullying me. Nobody is bullying you. You're allowing all these things to happen. Stop responding to, to stuff that you don't agree with. Leave it as that. What happened to leaving everything in 2018? It's 2019 now. Pretty much we're getting ready for 2020. Like, come on now. Talk about me. Two. Why do you feel like it's your business at all to tell people to report my shit? That's not your child. Like I could under I could I could a tight like this much understand if it was the child's mother saying that shit. But it's some random bitch that don't even fucking know him. I she was defending a child of from a famous YouTuber, well-known YouTuber that she follows, that she likes so she's defending him she don't necessarily need to know the child spend time with the child seeing the child to defend the child you understand you don't necessarily need to do that so with her you know she wanted she just wanted to to help damo out there not, there's nothing wrong with that but you blowing things out of proportion for what just leave it as it is leave it as it is if she said what she said people okay your video got deleted all right but guess what why does it need to be online for you to feel a certain way for you to feel happy about yourself you have the video on your phone right you edited the whole video on your phone right Use your brain. What's the problem? You can't. Why be mad? Play it for yourself. You don't need. Fucking that. know him. So I'm just trying to figure out why this bitch feels like so it's entitled. Funny. Yeah, to tell fucking people to report my shit. Mm -hmm. And whoever listens to her is a dumbass, just like she is, because it's none of y'all business. Period. Like I feel like that's so stupid. It makes no. Seems like she has it in her heart to be a good person, but she just can't help it. To be a cunt. If you guys could read some of these comments, it is serious. Everybody has something to say. It seems like this war she's she's trying to win, she's slowly losing.
it seems like a lot of people had a lot to say. I guess they was holding back, but it was waiting for a day like this. But there's a lot of comments, much more. I don't give a fuck if it's not my child. If it's not my child, because you know it was my child. You know, about six months ago. But now it's not my child no more. Regardless if it is or not, the fuck. There was plenty of other people that posted him. That's the that's the thing with these tourists. They're very stubborn. Very stubborn. Now, for has Chrissy like seriously though? Seriously. Again, Dominique said. Damo said. She's okay with everybody else who post them because nobody's saying nothing bad. If they were, then it would have been an issue. The issue that she has with you, since you don't want to listen, is the fact that she's saying she didn't give you no right. She doesn't want you to upload him. You uploading him on the same page as your girlfriend, she asked you not to. She doesn't want you to upload him. Did you not get that? I know you've seen the video because I'm sure that video would definitely get re-uploaded on that other Donald and Chrissy page. So... You see the difference between you and us is the fact that we okay, we, it's okay for us to upload it. She does not have no beef with us. She has beef with you. So why am I the only one that, what, the, why am I the only one when I was the one that actually was like, mm-hmm. actually, yeah, in his life, knew him, helped take care of him, but I can't post him out of all the people that have never fucking been, so-called, never been around him. Like, no, I don't give a fuck. I don't even care about other people fucking posting him, but when it comes to me posting him and it's a problem, okay, well then it should be a problem for everybody else too. No, you're wrong about that, sweetie. Technically, it shouldn't be a problem with nobody else because she does not have beef with us. It's not us that she has a problem with, it's you. For everybody else too. That's, that makes it fucking fair. But you know, I never, I just, it doesn't matter what the fuck I do. I damned if I do, if I damned if I don't. Because if I wouldn't have said shit on his birthday, then nobody, everybody would have been on my fucking ass saying that I didn't say shit. I didn't acknowledge it, blah, 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 blah. But then if I acknowledge it, that's how my son stopped talking about him. Why are you, why are you mad? You just need to calm down. Damo Damo said she's praying for you. Talking about him. So make it make sense. Pick a fucking side because at this point I'm just tired of it. Like, the fuck? Y'all the ones that keep bringing him up. Y'all the ones that keep bringing everything up. The fuck? I don't even gotta say shit. Y'all bring it up yourself. Technically, everybody left it alone. Nobody was saying anything about Wick until you posted him up. How about you just start a whole new page, make it private, only select the people you know get accepted or something. Just get over it. Build a bridge and get over it. Be ourselves. Huh? No, yeah, you're right. Not everybody. I'm not talking. I'm just, I'm talking about the people that, they, they know who the fuck I'm talking. I'm talking about the people that be talking shit all the fucking time. I'm my shit all the time talking shit. Saying stupid shit that has nothing to do with nothing. Like, I post I got a pee and someone says, oh, well, you didn't do that with your son. You do that with your son. Like, I post, I'm so happy. Well, you were happy with her. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I just can't, like, I can't, I can't say a damn word. I can't say nothing, not one thing. If you feel like everyone is against you, get off social media for a while. Take a break. Go to Alaska for a month. No, for real. If you feel like everyone is against you and everyone hates you, just stay off the internet. That's what comes with YouTubers. You're not the only one that have it hard. A lot of other people have it hard too. So get over it, Missy. One thing. But that's besides the fucking point. This bitch needs to stop fucking talking about me, period. That's all I'm saying. And I know she's watching this somehow on one of her fake-ass accounts because I definitely blocked that bitch a long time ago. So for her to be on my shit, clearly I blocked you, bitch. So stop looking at my shit. I don't want you on my shit, period. Because you're weird. Like, why are you on my shit? Why are you so obsessed with me? You grown as hell, about 40 years old. I'm talking about a 20 year old. The fuck? Just dumb. Mind your fucking business. Everybody just needs to mind their business. Mind the business that fucking pays them because the show ain't this. Will that happen to be the same business that pays you? No? No? Ain't this like at 
leave me alone. Period. Telling people to report my shit. For what? That really does not make sense to me. Because, like I said, it would make sense if it came from the mother of the child. But from some bitch that's never seen him in her life. To say some shit. About a child that's not even yours, bitch. Like, made a whole YouTube video. And now my video's down. For what? For what? Y'all thought I was talking shit. I was speaking on my fucking experience with my child that I helped raise, period. I don't care. Like, y'all act like I was saying some dumb shit. Like, no. But you keep repeating the same thing over and over and over again. Again, all you gotta do is just ignore them. Ignore whoever. If somebody says something about you, you don't like it, ignore it. If somebody made a video or a post or whatever about you and you don't, and you don't like it, ignore it. No. Simple as that. Thank you. Thank you. The fuck? Like, I just, I can't. I just can't. I can't. I can't. I just can't catch a fucking break. I can never catch a break. It don't matter. You can't catch a break, but you just have to be careful with what you respond to. Seriously. You don't have to respond to anything at all. Okay, the video was taken was taken off the internet, but who cares? You still have the video on your phone, right? So which means you can flip through it anytime, watch it anytime you want, put it on your big screen TV, watch it. You don't know that, right? You don't necessarily have to have it on Instagram. You don't necessarily have to have it anywhere else. Who cares? We don't care. We don't need to see all that. You should. You getting all extra angry when this is a situation that could have been resolved easy. You understand? So you got everybody has to be mindful with what they get mad at, what they react to, and what they allowed. You know? So just you just need to chill. To chill it out. don't matter. It don't matter what the fuck I do. I cannot catch a fucking break can't even say happy birthday to a, a child that I fucking helped raise. Without people fucking saying some bullshit. And it's not even that because a lot of people didn't say bullshit, which I appreciate. I'm glad that a lot of people seen that it was from the bottom of my heart and not just some fucking act or like I was posting that shit for some money. Money, I could have posted that shit on fucking YouTube. But I didn't. I just wanted to sincerely say happy birthday to my child. And move on. The fuck? On the next episode of Dragon Balls, Chrissy. Will Chrissy ever stop being mad? Will she finally be happy? Stay tuned. <laughs>
y'all be so invested in my fucking life. Like, I'm just, I, I just could never in my life, ever, focus so much and put all my time and energy into so much into somebody I don't like. I've never done that. It's extremely funny that you say that because you putting in all your time, your energy, your breath, your strength onto this one person, this one situation. You do get it, right? You're doing the same exact thing that you said you wouldn't you wouldn't you that you wouldn't do or never done. Like, stop wasting your time, stop wasting your energy if, if it bothers you so much. What is that gonna do? She's gonna make a video and then you're gonna have a respond, and then what y'all gonna go back and forth and back and forth? Like, y'all you either hit her up. Send her a personal message. You guys talk it out. You ask her why did she ask everybody to, to, to delete you or whatever the case is. If you have an issue with it. Or just leave it alone. Just don't pay it no mind. I don't understand why people be responding to a lot of BS. I've never done that. You know what I do? I block the bitch and move the fuck on. You know how I many bitches? Like in real life. Not on social media. I'm talking about in real life that I don't fuck with and just block them. I don't fucking follow them on shit. I don't keep up on their lives because I clearly don't give a fuck. Y'all give a fuck way too much about what the fuck I'm doing for y'all not to like me. I don't give a fuck what I am. I don't care if I was a fucking A-list celebrity making millions of fucking dollars on movies, bitch. I don't care. Like, no. No one fucking deserves half the shit that I fucking go through, period. All it sounds to me like you're whining and you're crying. Sorry to say, but you know how many times people said stuff about me? I don't give two shit about them. I don't care. At the end of the day, it's just words. But if somebody touch you, then you break their neck, you know? But I don't understand how you let people just get to you so easily like that i don't get it this is why a lot of people dislike you because of the fact that because of your mouth and because how you approach certain situation that's why a lot of people like stop following you and a lot of people dislike you that's one of the main reasons fucking go through period the fuck they talk about my hickeys on my neck i forgot that i had these on my neck i'm not gonna lie so and i was gonna say something baby for fucking fame and fucking uh money and shit but go back on my youtube please please go back on my youtube and tell me how many videos are on my youtube of me and him two two out of what i have like 70 some videos maybe maybe even 60 it doesn't matter even if i have 30 bitch two out of 60 50 40 videos but here's the thing you have two videos okay and you have a lot of other videos that isn't him but the videos that you do have, have Dam have his mommy on there, have Damo on there. Of course, you're not gonna put 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 that up on your page, but you do have videos though. Forty videos. Come on now. Come on. Like come on. The fuck. Ain't nobody using him for no fucking gain. I'm using. I'm not using him for shit. I'm fucking posting him because I love him and I fucking miss him. But people don't get that. People don't put that shit in their fucking heads. People don't try to um. Think about how the fuck I be feeling, period, at all. Like, the fuck? Did nobody ask for all this shit? I asked for my son back, period. So you're gonna keep asking for him back because it doesn't seem like, it does not seem like um, Damo's gonna allow you. Well, Damo said it herself that she's not allowing you to ever see him so this is why i said it's best to just move on have your own kid and that's it but it don't make no sense to keep posting stuff buying him stuff because she said you're not gonna see him ever again i mean besides on the internet but still you would have to wait until he's like 16 or older in order for you to even like talk to him <laughs> I just keep talking about my neck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say hey. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to turn the camera on you. Oh, no, I was just trying to show you.
I can legally say whatever the fuck I want. Legally. Like I said before, maybe you weren't in this live, honey. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice. I'm not gonna be disrespectful. Um I have no court order. I have no documentation, whatever you want to call it, that says I cannot speak on him. Now And you also don't have documentation or any type of legal paperwork that says that he's yours. Ooh. Not one. I have not got sued. I've not got touched. I've got not got nothing. So I can say and do whatever I want until that happens. Thank you. I'm I'm so glad. Like I just I really appreciate people that have like some type of Common sense, sense in their brains because I feel like people just hear one thing and go off of it without even like searching anything on Google. Like Google is like so fundamental it doesn't even make sense but people just literally forget it's there they just go to fucking um instagram damn you done ate almost all these bitches How do you feel? What do you think? Um, what's your opinion on all this with this girl? Um, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.